Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to The Last Flame, what I consider to be one of the best, if not the best, auto battle of roguelikes out there. We're popping on in on Adventurer, going for the true final boss as the goal here. But first, we're going to pick our two heroes. I'll explain what they do in a moment. All right, I'm going to grab XZ09 and Nalua here. I'll explain what they do in a second. You no longer gain passive experience, but will instead gain four additional trophies per fight. So it is two XP per hero per fight. I mean, this seems pretty good to me. I'll, I'll take it. I have not played with that one yet. I think it seems quite neat. But uh, yeah, we got to make sure we get an early fire. I'm kind of leaning towards, I guess, the left path here then. But the heroes we've got, we've got XZ09. When the hero gets or is below 50% max HP, he gains a shield equal to 15% of his max HP. And the ultimate ability is XZ09 goes into super mode, increasing its lifesteal and attack speed for 5 seconds, and it taunts the current target. 15% is what they gain. Nalua, when below 60% max HP, the hero gains spell steal, and the ult is Curse Blades. It is an AoE that afflicts four bleeds, and if Nalua has more than 60% max HP, she consumes 15% of her HP to do 50% more damage. So more or less, what is the through line between these? It's kind of regen, I suppose. And moreover, it's the fact that bleed can increase the damage done thus gaining more lifesteal. It was really the only through line, and I didn't want to just grab uh, the tank and the healer. Yeah, no, I thought I'd like to try and ooh, do something else a little bit wild, but we shall see. Recruit a hero. I'm not saying, to be clear, I'm not saying I'm not grabbing a healer. I was just saying I kind of wanted to uh, see what else we had there. Kara. Close range, hybrid, crit master, self-shielder, self-healer. Kara stuns the enemies that are currently targeted for 1.5 seconds and then vanishes the furthest corner for enemies. Healing yourself while walking back for 3% max HP or second next attack to guarantee crit and dodge the enemy and deals additional spell damage based on the distance travel from a vanished location. She does 100% additional critical strike chance for the next 3 seconds. <sighs> Scaling with distance travel. That's a lot. Um... She seems like an off-tank. She seems like Demon from Astrodark. Every time a hero, the hero crits with an attack... She gains a shield for 20% of the damage dealt. It seems weird, right? Um, but it also seems kind of fun. We get shield, though. It's not really like regen. It's not really healing. Every time the hero heals a hero, it can be the self by any means. All heroes gain 2% spell power, 2 flat spell power. I'll go for Kara. I don't know how I feel about that right now. We do know that critical strike chance is good for you. Every time you crit, you get a shield for 20% of the damage dealt. I'll grab a couple of them. A couple crits on you. It's going to make you do more damage, and it's going to make you tank better. So I guess what we could do is get all of your attention here. Have XZ09 tank a bit. I don't know if I'm going to keep you, so we'll see. Every time the hero heals a hero, including the self... Gains two spell power. I mean, it's not bad. Every time the hero on cast, the hero gains 12 spell power. That'd be more life steal, more attack speed. I mean, truthfully, this is a max. Well, it's for all. I'll go for this. I, I don't really feel great about it. Sure. All right. So you should be, you should be gaining some crits, I would have thought. All right. What else we got? We got, uh, Jalen, when the hero gets below half health for the first time, life steal. We do. We have used you. What about Nox? Uh, two max mana. Executes the target, dealing a guaranteed critical strike. Execute speed scales with attack speed. Also inflicts a bleed to all nearby enemies. Five percent critical damage per bleed on the enemy, stacking twenty times. All right, I'm sensing like a um, crit heal angle. Minus ten percent attack speed every six seconds. The wearer heals for ten percent of max HP. I don't know if I've seen this. Have I seen that? I don't know if I've seen that item. I'm going to wait until the campfire to uh, to do that bad boy. I'm going to get everybody's attention here. You get in there. Nox, I'll tell you what. Have a little bit of these. Every four attacks, if they're above 25% HP. So basically, convert a lot of your stuff into shield. 
Gain a spell power for every max HP. I mean, you don't seem like you gain a benefit from uh, spell power. So I congrats. You get eternal shield, but I don't really like that for you. Attacks have a 20% chance to rapidly attack additional time. On cast, get 10% attack speed. That basically lets you cast more times. I definitely care about that more than um, double attacks. Unless double... Do double attacks give double mana? They probably do, I suppose. All right. I'm concerned that you're going to die before you get your move off, but I feel like we're probably fine. Yep. See, that's pretty cool. Like, the kind of switching back into you not being the tank anymore is pretty neat. Um, Storm of Bullets around her, dealing damage and healing heroes. 60 shield plus 15 per summon. I mean, you could be our healer, I suppose. Sure. Like, we don't really, we don't have a healer right now, as it currently stands. 60 defense. Attack speed. So, I kind of want something for XZ09. Attack speed's okay. 60 defense is, is A-OK -okay as well. But I kind of want just, like, raw health. I'm going to roll again. Two mana regen's interesting. The gun is really good for Kara. I just feel like I, the cloak is going to be a good thing to merge at the fire. 40% chance to find 350 bucks, 60% chance to get bombarded by this man. I think that's okay. I guess we want to put you, what, in the freaking... in the middle? If you're going to move to the furthest corner. Huh. Are we keeping Kara? I don't know if we're keeping Kara or not. When gaining shield from any source, gain 1% attack speed for each hero and summon on the battlefield. Every attack, the hero gains 2 attack damage. Does it scale off attack damage? No, that scales on spell power. Stacks 50 times. Every 5 seconds, gain 1% well, one attack speed per hero or summon. I'll, I'll grab it. Clearly, there is going to be an impetus to get a little bit of summons. Get your attention. We can get another upgrade. Five. So we have 25. I don't think I want to invest the trophies into Kara yet. Oh, that's right. This fight randomizes the position of everything. I forgot about that. Yeah, this ain't going right. That, yeah, because the XZ was out of range there. Oh my, the enrage. Unsurprising here that this is going poorly. More surprising that we were actually able to be successful. So we get a reward out of that fight. Uh, Ripley? Believe it or not, I could, I could take Ripley. I know we used Ripley as a pretty core component in the past. Uh, yeah, Kara is interesting. I kind of like the lifesteal angle. Where gains crit chance missing. Six every six seconds they receive a shield equal to twenty five for every summon on the battlefield. I mean, like. Wait, does she heal herself? She does. Okay. Um, God, there is really a world in which Korra could... Sorry, we have Kara and Korra. Uh, where Korra could be a, a tank here. I think we're going to roll again. I feel like I can do something better. The wear gains 35% spell power. Uh, we can do better. When the fight starts, the wearer loses 650 HP, gains a 650 shield. Every 7 seconds, all summons gain 10% attack speed. Yeah, no, I'm not, like, wowed uh, by much of any of this. This could be good on Korra, and then we do something with that. But genuinely, I'm really disappointed. Like, I'm so disappointed with these. I am rolling again. I, I'm not happy with it. Uh, Healer's Ring, we could make that work. 5 defense for, for max mana. Nox has two. 
I think we do take it, though. The healing power is probably the right call, if I'm going to be real. Probably would have been better. Uh, definitely would have been better. Alright, so we are going to need to... Um, I'm going to need to get you up there. All right, um, go ahead and probably pop six into XZ, who really wants some HP. We have another six. We could upgrade somebody else full. I'll we'll go for Korra. Spell steel is interesting, but not what I was hoping for. Defense is something, but not what I was hoping for. I honestly, I am not happy with, uh, with any of this. If anything, I guess I go for the spell steel. And maybe we do make her an off tank and we um and we ditch Kara. I'm uh, just gonna not necessarily gonna say bird is the word. So critical strike chance, you automatically crit every two hits. Guaranteed crit every two hits. So, like, gaining, giving you crit chance is not that exciting. You heal per attack damage. Crits refresh all of Sky Edge's stacks. Okay. I think we do something like that. You don't have a taunt. You have a taunt. So, you'll take the damage right away, and then you'll move to the other. But I kind of want to do it like... This? This. Alright. Can we Fragment of Truth this? I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't know if I can or not. We're gonna buff up their HP by 40% here. It's not gonna be fun. It's gonna be a spooky time. Because this guy destroys our mana, which is painful. He sets our mana down to zero. Alright, go ham. Not the person I want to be tanking. Please be tanking instead. Okay, good. I think we'll be able to make it through... Got it. Okay. Rough fight. We're, we're pushing the limit here by quite a bit. Enemy start with 12 burn. All heroes gain 20, 250 max HP and get healed for the same amount. That's pretty interesting. Shields the lowest percent health hero for 140 every four seconds, though. Three frost every four seconds to all enemies is not bad. It increases our spell damage, just which we don't have a ton of, I guess, anyways. Doesn't have spell damage, doesn't have spell damage, doesn't have spell damage. We have two with spell damage. Frost isn't that good today. Burn isn't that good today. Um, it's between these. Do I want a shield that's going to swoop in and... S I think I want to have it swoop in and save the people who need it. Um, as far as what we want here, I, I don't think I'm going for anything. So it doesn't really matter. Critical strike chance up, 50% critical strike damage down. Every five seconds, the wearer gains a shield equal to 100% spell power. Let me tell you, I want to put that on Korra. All right. Every 100 shield done, all heroes gain 3% critical strike damage, capping at 300%. Ooh. Very interesting. All heroes gain critical strike chance equal to team's mana regen, which is probably not very high. It's not very high. Attack damage equal to the team's defense. All heroes gain a lifesteal equal to 1% max HP of the hero with the highest max HP. I do like that quite a bit. For every 100 shield done. Which I... I do have a couple ways to generate shield now. We'll go for big crit damage. Can I risk this? I, I don't care. I'm going to. I don't really have spell power yet, so this is, this is bad until it's not. Alright, I'm risking a lot here. Pumping my health all the way the hell down there. But now we can do a little bit of a combine. Oh, this double it doubles the attack speed downgrade too. I didn't realize that. I did not realize that. 
Oh, well, we get a little bit of mana regen. Huge attack speed penalty. We do go into super attack speed mode. Yeah, it's not very good. Not a very good uh, setup there. More shield? Sure, everybody, just everybody gains shield, I guess. Okay, so you go there. Everybody focusing. You do AoE, don't you? You do. So if I can, like, snipe these guys, that would be great. I want that guy's attention back there. Okay, good. Okay, I actually really like this setup. We're going to go for the Fragment of Truth. We should be A-okay, okay. Do I want to combine any of these? Not right now. Okay, so I'm hoping that you just blast them here. Okay, you did not go where I wanted you to go. That's upsetting. And now we're all around this guy, so he's gonna AoE. Uh, you were supposed to kill this man in the back. Why didn't you do that? Why did you change your mind? Why'd you change your mind, bird? You lost me some health for no reason. Uh, spell power. I do have, um... Shield for spell power. I think this is good. I think that we also just take it, to be clear. Or, like... This is the fight recap, by the way. I'm curious. Not surprising you're doing the most damage. Just, like, in the back there. Kind of, like, doing big bursts. Everyone else... Pretty even. Not that much healing. I mean, okay. There's not another campfire here. There is not. So I am going to absolutely do this now. Swap it on you. We need like a, just a good old solid main tank. These do shatter on the two furthest heroes. We basically just need somebody who's going to, uh, to heal up here. So it's more likely that you are going to need to... More likely that you're going to die first. So we're going to put the damage down here. And I can't spread it any further than that, unless you are ranged, which... No. N did not think so. Did not anticipate as much. Uh, so... Kind of want a stat increase. Raw attack damage. Nox has so much potential here, like, two mana. There's so many, like, good on-cast gain X things. Oh no, you moved in the wrong way! You moved in the wrong way! That sucks. I thought you would have moved here like a smartman. But no. Oh my god. We're we're safe. Haha. <laughs> They're like, I don't want to be smart, I want to be dumb. When gaining a shield from any source. On cast the hero gains spell power is probably gonna be better for Korra. Gain shield from any source. Gain 1% attack speed. I think that we could justify swapping these. I know that this is good with the, uh, the spell power shield. But I like that for the sustain. 50% chance to apply bleed. The wearer's attack damage is increased by 8% of its shield. We could definitely do something cute with that. With the whole... Uh, Slowly convert your health into shield business. We could do something fun there for sure. Um, get the Nox upgrade. Hack speed, max mana up. There's got to be some cool stuff. Critical Psych Trance, huge critical damage up. 5% spell power per 3% missing HP. 30% lifesteal. That's so much. That sounds fun. I'm going to take that. Four attacks, the healer heals 70% spell power at the start of the fight. Oh! Okay. We got some wild stuff. This is totally acceptable to go there. The life steal. I guess I don't know who to put that on yet. That's okay. Can I put that here?
I think I can put it there. I think it's I think it's fine. I feel like I kind of regret taking that one. Every three seconds, one of every debuff. Additional on-hit damage. I don't really need any of that. Proceed. Okay, the lowest health unit, which will be Ripley, is going to be attacked like mad. Okay. You don't need to be super tanky. Does that... Oh, God, that has health on it. I forgot that it has health. Oh, it has 400 HP on it. Yeah, never mind. Uh, more crit chance gives you more life steal. Yeah, so this guy always targets the lowest health guy. That's just... No matter what, it's going to be Ripley, which is... Pretty cool, because Ripley is actually a really good candidate for this fight. To be a, a, a good target. Every time the hero crits with attack, gain shield for 20% of the damage dealt. That's so good. That's so good. And then these guys... They'll just do their thing. You'll be up here, you'll get their attention. We need to face them away from the raid. Who has the next lowest? Nox does. So it'll be in a theoretical cone, like boom, boom, boom. I assume it that's what it means here, 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 here. And I, I don't think it'll be this tile or this tile, so it can be like that. And then it'll turn to Nox, who will then just, you know, probably probably die. Whatever. Tis with tis on that one. Turn on the fragment. I think we should have this. I'm a little bit scared bird boys going to hell. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, it's not their max health, it's their current health. Gotcha. Still, I think this is about the best we could expect, considering. Cool. We got the, we got all the truth fragments out of the way. So we gained 137% crit damage in that fight? That's nuts. Okay, whenever Luko crits, all heroes gain three attack damage. Uh, I think someone, I think someone needs to go. My money is on Nalua at this point. I just don't have anything itemized for you, and you have no crit synergy. Uh, ten percent critical strike chance. Their spells, active abilities, and on hits can now crit. The wearer gains life seal equal to forty percent of their spell power. There's so much weird stuff going on here. So much weird stuff going on here. Uh, between these, it's definitely the Immortal Staff. Right? Or is it? It's, it's Skeleton Staff. Who? This is not an ability that can crit. I guess that's an ability that could crit. Does damage. Yeah, I guess. I don't really, like... I could get that and put it on you, like, to fix literally what I was just saying, how you don't have a, a thing that benefits you for crits. And I think that having a ranged unit is going to be beneficial for us. So, you know what? Sure. <laughs> Taking the dynamite this late is crazy talk. Um, Heal for four and get an additional... It's not very exciting to get that this late, but oh well. Moving into the next act, having... All of the stuff we need is really cool. I don't truthfully need um, more fires. Critical strike damage, life steal, and attack speed sounds fun. Max health across the board sounds pretty good too. You know, I could get rid of Korra. That's my only source of healing right now, except for this helmet. And I don't like I don't know if we can rely on all these shielding things alone right now. I guess Ripley heals. If we bump up your damage enough, like I want to. 
and then you'll you are gonna bump up Ripley's healing. I th I think we get rid of you, and I don't I don't I don't really like it because it makes me feel like I need to get rid of this. I'm I'm saddened by that. I can't deny. Every seven seconds, shield the hero and the lowest percent HP hero for. All right, just. I like the shield spam idea. I think that does sound fun. Uh, so this would be another stat up. I feel like I want you to be a very core component. Attack speed is something. I don't. I don't hate that. All right. So what the hell do we do here? So we want you to be in a spot where you're going to be getting all that that attention, kind of, but not really. We need you to be healing everybody. You heal everybody. I mean, this just it's just a wild setup this is. If we wanted to get everybody's attention on one, we'd have to do it like this. But I don't know if that's the right call. I think we should probably split it up a little bit. But split it up, but put the DPS on the, the split up. Get most of, ooh, most of it over here. Once you kind of in the middle... Are you pretty tanky? Who's got the most, like, self-healing? Theoretically, it would be Ripley. Believe it or not. Make sure it does not get your attention. Okay. Pop this over here. Pop that over there. Eh. Awkward. Is anybody 15 away? I would imagine no. I gotta tell you, I absolutely love the min-maxing notes. I adore it. You did not go where I, w where I wanted, but it's fine. I think I want to move the crits over to you, because whenever you crit with your ult, everyone gains a flat attack damage boost. I want to see. Can, can we see how much you gave? Did you ever give any? Nine bonus. So it happened three times. Yeah, I think I'm going to need different crit items, I guess. Spell power. We could give the spell shield. We could give that to you then, I suppose. Spell power's not bad, attack speed's not bad, but I honestly, I think I want to roll one more. Critical strike chance and spell power. Uh, that actually seems like a dream for you. Oh my god, if I, I kind of want to combine these. Oh, we already had one. But that makes me so sad, because he already can crit with his spells and abilities, but I really want that extra 10% crit chance. It kind of, it bumps this up to a 24, which is really good to get. First things first, for the love of God, take that. You're basic, you're darn near crit capped if I do it. The only other person to get benefit from it would be her, so I'm actually going to say, yeah, it's probably just fine. Alright, 85%, say less. That guy's going to be critting like crazy. Critting up a storm. All right, uh, we have enough to do a 25. So these guys need to be focused down mostly one by one. All right. What's your shielding look like? Eh, I would have thought it'd be a bit better, I guess. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. 15% life steal. There's a world. On cast. The where is max man's increased by two. This would basically be for No. This is for no this is for nobody on my squad. Spell steal every 
when the fight starts, the wearer gains 40% max HP, but does not heal for that amount. Is there a, somewhere that I care about that? I mean, honestly, kind of on Ripley, I guess. Later not. But I don't have any summons there. I don't have that. Spell steal would only be for that would only be for Core. No, I guess it could be for Luco now. But I don't know if I really want him to be another tank. I I think I I think I roll again. Every five seconds, the wearer either gains eight percent attack damage or one mana regen at random. Uh, that could be really good for Ripley. That could be good for Nox. That actually, that could be pretty good for Nox, I suppose. Or it could be okay for Luko. Realm Shield, I really do like. But I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab the Hydra Sword. It, it's good across the board. I still know what to put that on. Reroll a passive. Attack damage is increased by 8% of its shield. I don't know. Is that good? It could be good. I think our shield caps out at our max health, doesn't it? And this is so wacky. I feel like I could do better. Honestly, I think I could do better than Eternal Shield. I think Critical Shield is better than Eternal Shield for, for Ripley. Every five attacks, do additional splash on hit equal to 100% attack damage, inflict two bleed enemy struck. I think that is going to be a lot better. Yeah, I think it is. I think it'll go further for us. Um, a swap? Do I have a swap anywhere? I don't think I have a swap anywhere. I mean, I know the Eternal Shield, it's not bad with Ripley, but I, just, I think we can do better. I don't think I have a swap anywhere, so maybe I do just go for this. Because we could go, I, I doubt. Spells and actives now crit, same as the crit chance. Also get 25% crit chance, max mana's up. Whenever a hero gets below 50% HP, you gain 20% attack damage and 15% lifesteal. I mean, that is a little silly. But can I do that that well? I don't know if I can actually do it that well. It's basically reborn. It's reborn or we just go for the uh, the enchants. We're definitely going to go for the enchant. And then I think we, we rest. And then we go for another fire. We see what else we got here. Uh, Twice the amount of bleed on enemies. But lose 10% attack speed. That does seem good though. All heroes gain critical strike chance equal to the team's mana regen. I'm going to say nah. I, I don't I, I don't need to upgrade that. Let's just get back up to full HP. Uh, dark eruption on the furthest enemy, splitting the damage between those struck, and they will lose spell power, gain max mana on the furthest away hero. Who do I not care about spell power? I I haven't I just realized I have zero ranged units so. I am dumb. Okay. I don't care about your guys' attack damage at all, so I'm fine with splitting that. Who's furthest away? Nobody's furthest away. So it's going to take their... His claw attacks them and reduces their attack damage. I don't care that much for these guys. Then he furthest away does a dark eruption doing 642 split stealing their spell power. I probably care less about um, that actually. I don't know if this counts as them being furthest away. I don't know how that'll go. I don't know who gets that hit but I think that okay good that is ideal. That is what I would have preferred. She may go down 
Okay, our critical damage should be stacking at the very least. Oof. They're yoinking my damage. My bird's getting really, really strong, though. That was spooky. All heroes gain 28% critical strike chance, but gain 2 max mana. That seems worth it to me. It's not as su it's not as worth it on oh it, it ruins Nox a bit. All heroes gain heal power. We're not really gaining that much heal. I wouldn't mind shielding. Spell steal's not that good. I guess we do that. Oh, that was the other thing is they were turning they were increasing everybody's um Ooh. Do you shield others or just yourself? If you have at least 250 shield, then their HP is above. It consumes shield to gain 25% attack damage. Uh, Ryu casts Dragon's Wrath and Align, gaining shield equal to the damage dealt that decays. Um, I gotta be honest, it synergizes really well, though, because if he likes attack damage, that means he's gonna like uh, crit damage. So, I think it's worth it. Every five seconds, the wearer either gains 8% attack damage or mana regen. I need more. I, I want um, I want a flat attack damage piece I can put on Ripley, or like a crit damage thing I can put on Nox. Every five attacks, the wearer gains one percent attack damage speed for each bleed on the target. Uh, Nox is the only one who applies bleed. No, and then uh, Ripley does as well now. Any of these are fine. We gotta think, like... Hydra Sword works on Nox very well. And we don't really have anything for Nox. I am going to wait. Because I'm gonna want to sub... Oh, no, I can't sub that out. Or can I? Hold on. Hold on. I'm swapping you out for a sec. Every time the hero crits with an attack, they gain 20% shield. Shield for 20% of the damage dealt. I mean, we like shields. We like shields. Shields give us crit damage. We're going to cap at 300% critical damage. Most fights, I'd assume. Shatter on the two furthest. Which is an AoE thing, and then we're gonna want to blast. You're you're ranged, yeah. You're melee. No. Okay, we'll focus down you then. Okay, we'll focus down that guy. Uh, we're gonna wait, and then maybe I'll swap your ability off onto somebody else because it's pretty good. But I might I might not even. Now that I think about it. What would I swap? Spell spell power. It would basically be Ecstasy 09 or on the Ryu. I'm going to be keeping this. Because I'm going to try and uh, bump up crit chance more than I already even have. Uh, so this should be fine. So I guess with that in mind, I, I give you the boot so that I can get back my 6. God, we've really, <laughs> really moved that around. 5% critical strike damage per bleed on the enemy. Every attack I have a chance to stop. I, you don't attack very fast, man. Alright. Send it. I thought you would live longer. This guy's crazy! That didn't go well. But the good news is, this is all I need. This bat is crazy. Not as crazy as my bird, but, like, that guy's crazy. Finally, we can get some flat attack damage. I could I could just put that on one of those, but I just don't really feel like I need to.
Hmm. Passive swap. Time to hero crits. Gain shield for... I mean, I could put that on somebody else who's more likely to actually be critting. I am going to probably want to put spell power... I guess I'd want him to put spell power on you. Crits with an attack. Sounds like it can't be a spell. I gotta be real. That's probably better. All right. Move it. Targets the hero with the lowest HP. We can make that work. When getting a shield from any source, heal the hero for 3% max HP every 6 seconds gain here. Every 3 active ability, the hero casts its active ability twice. I have no idea how that works. But if it works how I want, that's going to be beautiful. So you're going to be going for Ripley. And then I guess you would go for Ryu. Um, I could change that a little bit by just doing this, making it so that target goes. But you... No, yeah, you don't have a great way to heal anymore. I mean, so... I guess that works for Ripley. Ryu, you're a strange one, Mr. Grinch. Luca would be the next target. I mean, you're just kind of here to vibe, I guess. That's 100. Luca's the target. But that's kind of not going to be great. Ugh. I hate how much this... Um, this one messes me my items up. Okay, so he's going to go for Ripley is the thing. Who actually doesn't have the shield move anymore in hindsight. Uh, I mean, we have the 30% lifesteal as well. Yeah, you don't gain that much shield anymore. We swap that off. I guess we don't really need... Um, don't really need that on you anymore. Eh. Could be okay there, I guess. Eh. It's all bad. They're going for Ripley, but they're going to probably swap to somebody else, right? No? Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord, Ripley. You're scaring me, Ripley. Scaring me, Ripley. Recruit a hero. I mean, we do like James. It's all so weird. Defense is increased by 15% of his current shield. I could really see that being useful. Enemies start with 12 frost, but cap at 12 frost. I actually don't mind that. Like, that helps me about the amount that I would need. 2% attack speed for every... I, tr I'm going to be honest, though. I kind of think all of this is bad. Debuffs. Every four attacks, heroes deal on hit damage equal to three times the amount of burn of the enemy. It's just, like, not that exciting. It's not that exciting for us. We have some we have some on hits. Not a lot. We just don't have enough spells for this to be worth getting excited about. We definitely not taking that. I guess I take the golden emblem, but truthfully, I think that that's bad for me. Do you have an item to upgrade? I wouldn't mind upgrading that, but I'm going to go for the swap, and then we'll decide if we want the, uh, what we want after that. Okay, items back to where they go. I want you to basically take it all. Orb Demon. 
Sends demonic bolts towards all other enemies. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so 25 for an upgrade. We can't do that. Have any extra items? I don't think so. Okay. Please, bird. Please, bird, live. These guys are going to be stacking up a whole bunch of babies. Okay, good. He living. He living. I gotta be honest, feels like he's not getting that much shielding. Every five seconds, gain a shield for a hundred. It's not that good. Right? It's not that good. It's not gonna, like, keep you alive. So I could probably... I think I could pivot all of that into onto somebody else. Then you're not going to be getting that much shield. Yeah. Every time you crit. I mean, hey, you'll still be getting some shield. Not like a crazy amount, but that's okay. Per max mana. How much max mana? You got nine max mana? 45 extra defense? It's not bad. We actually can make that work. Let's pivot all this. Uh, who gets the shield? Truthfully, it would be Ripley, I guess. That might be a big thing that's keeping us from living, though. Or keeping us from dying. <laughs> keeping us from truly being alive. The fact we can upgrade Ripley again is crazy to me, and I love it. Why am I doing this? I can't even make it all the way. <laughs> Every five attacks on hit splash 100% attack damage. It's not bad. Every active ability, third active ability here casts it twice. Here's the thing. We need to generate lots of shield. And I think this is better for that. And I don't think that he can... I don't think he's double ulting like in an impressive way. I don't think it's like really doing much for us. I uh, This is like I can basically... I can last another zone. This sucks. Oh, boy. You're going to be gaining some shield. Target the lowest HP, which is going to be Ripley. So they're going to go, which means they go perfectly in. We want to have you back over here, I guess, then, which I don't love. We'll hopefully have you work your way in. All right. Wait, is Nox the lowest HP now? No, still Ripley. I, I'm not gonna say. I don't feel great about this. Huge shielding there. Okay, good. Come on, save his life. One more cast. Oh, the fact that he was the lowest there is not good for us. That was a we, dude. We solved a fight that was really bad. Apply three. All heroes gain 12% crit chance. Oh, there's good. These are all so good. We take massive advantage of critical damage, though. So we're going for that. Congrats, James. We can pick a thing that I can... On cast, the hero gains 7% crit chance. Three stacks, spells can crit. Yes. For every four attacks, the wearer gains 15 spell power, but max man is increased by one.
it's basically it's realm shield or reroll, and I think I'm gonna go for reroll. Recuperation necklace. We do need one more item for uh, Xena. I, 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 I. I was gonna say I hate this fight, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm undecided. But the thing is, we have to kill all these, and then what I don't like, the thing I don't like, is in the middle there's a spawn. And then you have to figure out what to do about that. So, it's just so spooky. Grab a little bit of that. One second. Alright. Um, so yeah, we basically just want to spread DPS. And what what's most important is that... No, I guess it's fine if bird's in the middle. Yeah, it's just kind of a weird one. This, These guys all do. They basically summon a big old AoE puddle that damages me per second. And then a big guy spawns in the middle. And then he goes away and we have to do it again. We, I think it's, it's going to be fine, though. Bird going ham. Okay, who's, who's getting targeted? Of course it's you. Come on. Okay, good. He lived. The fact that he lived there, Bird is going crazy. Look at Bird go! I know Bird has a name. Shields the hero with the most shield for 120 every three seconds. If no heroes have shield, the shield is the lowest percent. Uh, we have war arsenal. We want more shields. Just pretty much is how it goes. Every four attacks, the wearer gains a shield equal to 100% tag damage. Oh my god. Bird. Bird turned into god. Wow. I don't know. I don't know between the two. Gains attack, damage, and spout power equal to three times max mana. There'd have to be somebody that's utilizing both. We don't have a ton that are utilizing both. I mean, XZ could, Ryu, I, Ryu could. I grab golden armor for sure, but the question is, how do I sneak that on somebody right now? I do want to go towards the uh, the shop so we can buy myself an ingredient. Alright. That's actually, it's probably fine if you get blasted there. 21. <laughs> this is so dumb. It's so stupid. I love it though. I love min maxing notes. We're going to be able to heal up everybody for a crazy amount as well is the thing. We can't save that guy. Because I thought that maybe we would... The squad would get up there. Yeah. I mean, it's silly. What I'm doing is a silly thing. On cast, the wearer gains defense. The wearer gains 4% heal power for every bleed on the enemy with the highest bleed. Uh, that could work. Swap. To it. We're, we're, we'll upgrade somebody. Up to level... F yeah, if we upgrade you to level 4, you gain a new ability that we might hate. Spell power is increased by 5% of its current shield when the fight starts to gain 150 shield. It's not bad. It's not crazy. Um. Oh. Oh, that's actually really good for Ryu. That's actually, like, really good for you. Man, I need a lot of, like, just core components. I want crit damage for Nox. So bad. I was like, oh my god, he has less health. But no, he has so much health that it's elapsed into, like, a big chunk. I mean, there's not much I can 
do about this? We want you to we want you to be targeted, but you to run up into this position. Looks about good. They're all basically standing inside them there. Yeah, we're gonna take the AoE, but there's not much I can do about that. Go, Bird, go! Oh, that's right, critical form. Do I swap those? I forgot about critical form. I don't think it really matters, though. I think we prefer that. Gives us more shield. Critical strike damage, finally. I mean, I think I just have to, like... I think I just have to swap it over onto somebody. 141. You know... Let's just go to the shop first. How about that? Shop first. Questions later. It's got to be something cool here. 48 raw attack damage is, is good. It's great. Oh my god. That's so cool. But I need like... <laughs> it's, just, it's just not something I actually really need. Minus two max mana is fine. More defense is good, I guess. I was hoping for something else. I, I, is, I guess the thing. That's huge. Every, wait, every four attacks? Yeah. Then critical damage thing. Another one of those. Interesting. I, yeah, if we just had, like, a bunch more health. 4%. 4%. It's, like, 100. So, every 6 seconds heal everyone for 100. It's not bad, and it's also not that great. Unless I also got the other piece over here, but we also have these things. Defense equal to shield. Is he gaining that much shield? I kind of... Kind of. Well, actually, he might. Heal power is interesting. I think we just do this. I think we do that. It's not great. We get the critical damage here. Hydra sword. Uh, if Luko could get something, I guess. On cast, the next splash. Eh. 50% chance to inflict two bleed to enemies. I actually really like that for him. Uh, that's for Luko. Just because he's kind of just a utility guy right now, if I'm going to be honest. But he's a really good utility guy. He's giving everybody so much... So much flat attack damage, which is really blowing the lid off everything. Okay. Um, You can have more crit chance, because why not? Critical strike damage. The question is if I wanted to... Um... You already have so much. You can always have more. We could dismantle... Where is it? Basically, lose 32 attack damage, gain 80% critical strike. I think that's more worth it. Just for that for that guy, I think it's worth it. We'll combine... Uh, yeah, combine critical strike damage on the Hydra Sword instead. Then we have a 32 attack, flat attack damage we could put somewhere. Which... What happened? Wait, where, who, got, who got the shield item? Okay, you did get it. Critical strike chance. Where is attack damage increased by? Uh, like of the shield. Shield equal to the attack damage. We want to, I think we want to dismantle that one. Oh. 
Oh, it costs 200 now. Okay, I would have dismantled that and, uh, you know, hey, whatever. Um, I think this is good. I think it's good. We got more floor left yet. Didn't feel like it there. Like, felt like we were going for the, uh, the final hoorah. What's this? Split between the target and nearby heroes. Oh, you poor, poor sap. All right, we got um, 13. <laughs> no, don't. Poor Ryu's over here saying like, I wouldn't mind getting another ability. I wouldn't mind getting one more ability. Uh, 25% attack damage. So we could like, um, could utilize that. Uh, I'm going to go for the more, more regen. Your job is to buff up everybody else. Uh, there you go. You're gonna you're gonna get that. All right. Come on, bird. Wow. One hundred and seventy-three percent extra critical damage there. Some silly, silly stuff. I'm not gonna probably use any of that stuff. I I'm not gonna say I'm optimized already, but I am gonna say I'm probably okay. Swipe at heroes in a cone, healing for 100% of the damage dealt. You do... Targets the hero with the lowest HP. We kind of just need to get everyone's attention. And we need to split it off. Uh, it's awkward. On cast gain spell power... Do we have anything with summons? I don't think we have anything too much with summons, right? On casting spell power. Full circle. Uh, seven. Nobody can get an upgrade. I don't love this. But this guy was in such a good spot for that line attack there. Do it again, please. Thank you. Good. Twenty-four attack damage. I mean, there's a world. I just doubt. I mean, no. I don't care that much about spell power. Oh, I don't know, gang. That one seems pretty good. There's no reason not to. We're at full health anyways. Um, uh, I'm gonna go to the one that gives me options. <laughs> Still. This is some wackiness. 15. I really do want to just buff up Ripley more. Alright, Ripley's in slight danger. Not really. Actually, no. They're in danger. Oh! He got blasted. Shoot. Item, not really looking for anything. I don't really feel like re-rolling either. 2% attack speed for every two trophies you have. All heroes gain 13 life steal is crazy. But hold on. All heroes gain 2% attack speed for every two trophies you have? Everyone gets a 40% attack speed boost? For real? That's allowed? That's crazy. Pretty much do what we want here. All right, I'm, I guess I'm just gonna let everyone get that, uh, that attack speed boost instead. I'm glad I was saving that up for the memes for Mr. Birdman. When the wearer's attack damage is above or equal to 160%, they gain 20% critical strike chance. Like, I know we have some things we can... 
I don't care about critical strike chance that much for you. Was your... Can I get your attack damage above? I might be able to get it above that during a fight. I guess we should be re-rolling those still. Speaking of re-rolling, re-roll a passive. How much attack damage do you have? But you're also not attacking that fast. Well, you're attacking a bit faster now. Sure. Heal up everybody even more. We could go over here, or we could get another... Uh, what the hell? So you do damage in a line. After 30 seconds in the fight, Dark Dragon just dies. Okay, you do best damage in a line. The bad news is... I don't really have a line that I get to do. Because if I put you up there, it's not going to help. I guess I could trap somebody. No, I can't trap somebody. Hopefully you can shoot sideways, because otherwise we're actually in trouble. The good news is it doesn't matter if we um, if we die this fight. It, it, it just genuinely doesn't matter at all. Should I up your crit strike chance ever so slightly, I guess? But yeah, this is... We're not supposed to really... Okay, good. They do have a... Good, good. I was worried that the line wouldn't work. So basically, 30 sec... We need to live 30 seconds. 15. 16. We might actually win this in time. Oh my god! We did it. We killed it. The goal was just to survive. Nothing to do with these, really. We could take mana regen, I suppose. All heroes gain 50% heal power is super funny. Hextile buff attack damage, though, for more bird power is hilarious. Okay, I'd like to put you here. Is that... Okay, so you target the lowest health... The lowest HP hero, so it doesn't... It's hard to say. You target in a line, which we kind of want to do like that. We want you by here so we can get double AoE strikes. Uh, this is what I don't like. This is the thing. That's the thing I don't like. Heroes take 200% spell damage from the Zaya god they're closest to. They heal up to the one that, with the highest HP. You target the lowest health. You target in a line splitting damage. And you target in an AoE splitting damage. I may have to... I may have to do this. I don't love it, but I think Bird should... Bird should basically just fix this up so it doesn't... That guy died immediately. Okay, so everybody's going to heal up to him. But the good news is Bird killed that man before anything happened. Wow. Uh, he got exploded. Bird is crazy. Um... Three bleeds, uh, but, 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 but four, all heroes gain four spell power for every two trophies you have. I have, that's, all heroes gain, <laughs> my god. Really? 200 spell power? I wish I cared more about spell power. It's probably better than the bleed, though, I will say. Like, the bleed's good, we like bleed. Every attack, the wearer gains 3% attack damage. I mean, honestly, that might be better for you. Sh 
should have gone to the shop to split some stuff, but I think it's okay. I think that makes the most sense there. to take advantage of the critical damage. I mean, we could. Critical form on you would have actually been not too bad. All right, so we're, we're really in the, the final stretch here. It's the final fight. We got to figure out... More or less, we just got to figure out what do we want to combine here because at this point, there's no reason not to. Uh, and it's really just, what do we want on Ryu? What do we want on Luko? Inflict burn. Heal power. Eh. This crit chance is basically... It's, it's maxed. No, it is maxed. So that's irrelevant for you. I guess I'll afflict burn. And I also guess I'll... Well, no, again, you're crit capped. Do we mana regen instead? Well, you Are you crit capped with this? You're probably crit capped with it. Oh, well. Take that. Uh, now, Ryu is the last one. I doubt that you. we have anything that we really care about with you. So I'll just pop that on Ryu. Okay, so. You send an orb, an interceptable orb, to the furthest hero. It explodes, dealing damage on hero's hit. The furthest hero I want to be you. Is it you? You might die. It should be. It's it's you. Oh God. Well, no, that's fine. That's fine. I think this is gonna, this hand is gonna die pretty quickly. We need that attack buff. Need is a strong word, but I want that attack buff. We might get the attention of both of those, which sucks. I don't think it'll matter. I think birds too Im impossible to kill. It's impossible is a strong word. It's a very strong word. But he is ramping. Oh, no. Oh, no, bird. He sold it while being attacked by a million guys. Oh, my God. Look at him go. He killed the entire half over there before everybody else got through any part of it. We got to 299% uh, critical strike damage up. We were critting like a crazy man. That is so much damage per second. Yeah. Uh, did it say anywhere how much damage you gave? Total bleed damage DPS was 719. Bleed was doing... Bleed accounted for as much damage as any other, like, hero. Um, but yeah, getting the 50 trophies and doing these at the end, that, that was fun. I like that run. I like that run a lot. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.